Excuse me. Hey, do I know you? Mr. I believe we've met. We have? At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall. The... Yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties. And those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder. Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> I'm ahead in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. Oh. We must try everything. Come along. Hello. Mr. Miller, if the counselor wants to apologize, he can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. of safety in nature. You must be damn stupid if you think you can come back here. I'm reformed. And the two oceans are our shells. It is only here that we can truly be ourselves, where man can find his place in heaven. This, this is Chelonia. The one true American's religion, the one true Bible that was handed down 100 years ago, this year, to our prophet from above. You actually believe this shit? Hello, sir. Can I interest you in Chelonianism? Uh, I don't know. Can you? Well, I hope so. It is a fascinating religion that was taught to a very wise master about a hundred years ago in a land not very far from here. Take a book, please. 
No, thanks. Oh. Have a wonderful day. Be safe. Take a pamphlet and learn all you can Come on, about girl. our wonderful approach to religion. So, it's a nice place you brought us to, my brother. Yes, lovely, isn't it? Yeah, uh, makes me miss freezing to death in the mountains. <laughs> yeah. Up to much, have you? Not really. <laughs> Read any interesting books recently? No. Seen any plays? No. You heard any good jokes? Yeah. So, well, all right. The horseless carriage is a reality. In Germany, I read about well, the newspaper. By next fancy year, sharing it with me? And flying too, no doubt. See, no. I like a horse oh. well enough to not want to one up for a machine. You know, <laughs> I won't want to be stuck in the wilderness with you, Charles. I've had more fun well, watching the grass grow. Since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My oh, lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. Will you get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. 
Oh, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, there, the tree line. Everybody take cover! <laughs>
okay? I think so. Except for Karen. Poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Home O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. <clears throat> he saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Easy, killer. That's rich from you. I ain't trying to rile you. Believe me. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. If you say so. Morning. Morning, Arthur. You okay, Uncle? I'm keeping my head, which is more than we can say for Kieran. Straight in there with the jokes, huh? All right, well, I should be getting on. Yeah. Mrs. Adler? Hi. Oh, Arthur, I can't believe those pigs did that to him. To Karen? He was such a gentle soul. Yeah, he saved my life one time. I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. If we get the chance, we surely shall. You doing all right, Abigail? I still can't believe that happened to Karen. Yeah, bad business, all right. Hey there. This has all gotten... A little crazy. We need to find where those O'Driscolls are at. And... 
I don't know. I ain't sure that's the right move. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Sure, Arthur. You okay? Yes. Just thinking about Karen. Guess... Uh, he was always living on borrowed time. Maybe. Well, I should get back to it. All right. You okay? I thought we were safe here. <sighs> Never make that mistake. I need to stretch my legs.
Morning to you. Como estas? Hey. Morning, Arthur. Snap. Me too. How you doing? Not good. I'm with you there. That was me thinking we were a step ahead of the O'Driscolls. I was almost starting to like that Kieran. And he saved your life. I know. Anyway, I won't disturb you. <sighs> okay.